In this video, we're going to cover checklist. And checklist are a feature of Check Cherry that are really designed to help you look more professional and stay on your A game. With checklist, you can build and manage a to-do list, a task list, an equipment list. And you can also automatically generate those lists based on the package that the client selected, even the add-on and, and or backdrop. Okay, let's take a look at what this looks like within a booking. I'm at the overview of Jen and John's wedding, and you'll see a checklist tab. If I click the checklist tab, um, I have three separate checklists. Um, I have post-event tasks, pre-event tasks, and an equipment checklist. Um, and so if you go into one, you'll see um, here's all the equipment I might need to perform my services. Um, keep in mind you can reorganize these tasks, check them off, um, sort by various um, things like due date and so on. And you'll notice the equipment checklist doesn't have any due dates. Uh, this is probably not something that makes sense to have a due date. However, uh, if I go back to the checklist, you'll see uh, my pre-event checklist. They do have a due date. And so there are some tasks which are past due, and you'll see those in uh, red with the due date and coming due soon here. And of course, you can uh, you know, focus on what, what you want to see uh, quite easily. Um, coming due soon, it's past due, that type of stuff. Um, most of the time, you'll probably just be looking at all of them. And you'll notice it's real easy to know where you stand with checklist. Um, just kind of figure out where are you at um, and what's going on. You can also add descriptions to checklist. Um, so confirm with staff does not have one, um, but you can add additional notes, um, that type of stuff. You can change the due date um, and this will all override things um, just for this booking. Um, there's also a settings uh, portion for each checklist um, and you can edit the checklist settings and you'll see here, I can override the name and the visibility. So show items in your consolidated to-do list. You'll find that uh, here. And that'll have uh, you know all of the to-dos you want to see or have to do. Um, you can also uh, limit permission based on uh, staff accounts. So do you want the staff to be able to see and check items off on these lists? So you might want to uncheck that if you are an... Um, situation where it's an admin only list. Um, you might also want your staff to be able to edit, add, and remove items on the list. They you know, give them full control to do what they need to do um, to accomplish the task. Uh, just a trust factor. And um, again, this will just update the settings for this particular checklist for this booking. Okay, so checklists are great when you're actually managing them um, on an event by event basis. But what's really cool with Check Cherry is you can also uh, build checklists automatically and associate them with each new booking um, using checklist templates. And so let's click on that. Um, and you'll see I already have three checklist templates. I can create a new template at any time. Um, here are the settings I've mentioned before about visibility and, and so on. Um, and let's take a look at the equipment checklist, for example. And so here um, are several things. And if I click the plus sign, I can add a new item. Um, I can edit any of them, change the name, add some notes um, to it. Um, and then also uh, automatically assign due dates. Um, when is it due? Is it how many days, weeks, months, uh, before, after? Is it based on the event date, the book date? Uh, the due date, um, and so on. Let's add a new one. Um, I'm going to add a, a backdrop uh, checklist. You know, Do I have my backdrop for the booking? Um, and I'm not going to give it a, a due date. Um, I don't want to be nagged about it. I'm just going to go through my equipment checklist as I'm packing up, so to speak, um, for the booking. And you'll also notice there's an applies to uh, section. And so if I click edit, um, you can choose um, which items will be built for which package and also add-ons and backdrops. And so this is a backdrop. So I'm going to say, I don't care what package they selected. I don't care what add-on they selected, but if they select a backdrop, 
any of them, I want to make sure I get grab this. And so let's save that. And you'll see here it's telling me it's no packages, um, but all backdrops. This will be built. So the way that uh, this was designed really is more so that you would have one equipment checklist template and then uh, many items, and then you would individually go through and say, hey, this item belongs to this package or this add-on, um, and so on. You could certainly build um, you know, a checklist for your photography service and a checklist for your you know, party rentals business, um, completely up to you, uh, but really designed in, in fine grain control at the individual item level on a template as to um, where that is going to show up and automatically be built. Uh, now let's take a moment to look at the consolidated to-do list. Um, and so here it is. You'll see um, it'll show uh, which uh, booking or package. Um, you know, here's the booking, here's the package, the due date. Um, you can add notes and see notes. I can go right to the checklist um, on that booking and manage it, look at other things. Um, it's all there. And also we have those uh, handy uh, filters to see what's due, what's not due. Um, and you can also search. Um, so, you know, there's Jenny. So that's checklist. We hope it helps you run a better business. Thanks for watching.